Well, almost 100 Iowa National Guard members will soon be deployed across the country. They'll be tasked with various responsibilities. A deployment, though, doesn't always mean that they're sent into a war zone. Local 5's Larissa Leone joins us now to explain. Stephanie, Samantha, as civilians, our minds often go to the worst case scenarios when we hear of news of service members being deployed. Today, I sat down with two service members who explained what happens on deployments isn't always what we see in movies and TV shows. Samir Jafar Agic is a senior airman in the United States Air Force. He works for the emergency management component of the 132nd Wing in Des Moines. That's attached to the Des Moines International Airport. We train uh, other airmen in how to protect themselves in case of a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear attack. Jafar Agic wears two different hats, having a job in the civilian world as well. I'm a, um, an officer, a uh, uniformed officer with the 5th Judicial District. Samir was inspired to take on these large roles after immigrating from Bosnia. He and his family fled the country at the start of the Bosnian War in 1992, ending up in Germany. My father died during the war and uh, uh, my parents had enough insight to, uh, to know that we needed to leave. Samir arrived in Des Moines through a refugee program. He says that journey is the reason he chose to serve. I get to uh, pay back um, this country for uh, the opportunities and the freedoms that uh, my family and I have been provided. Second Lieutenant Matthew Doyle says members like Jaffer Ag Itch go on deployment regularly. You may imagine a deployment means heading to the middle of a firefight. Doyle says it's nothing like what's portrayed in the movies. Well, having us there on the ground, we can uh, work with some of our allies, we can uh, train different members. This summer, senior airman Jaffer Agich will leave for deployment along with almost 100 other men and women in uniform. I'll be leaving for Southwest Asia uh, this summer, and I'm excited about my deployment. The almost 100 military members set to deploy will go to Africa, Southwest Asia, and parts of Europe. Reporting live in studio, Larissa Leone, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Second Lieutenant Matthew Doyle says it's important to remember that deployments happen often and the wellness of military members is top priority.